Hi, this is Ubaida Hassan, and uh, today we are going to see our third project simulation. Um, today's project goes by the name Gas Leakage Detection, Water Level Control, and Power Consumption Monitoring System. So the project had three major parts. I mean, the gas uh, monitoring, water level control, and the uh, power uh, monitoring system. So the project is uh, designed to monitor gas valve, um, water valve, and um, and also the power consumption. Um, for the gas leakage detection, uh, I've used this MQ sensor over here, this MQ5, so you can use any MQ sensor that you have uh, for, your, for, for the gas detection. So once there is any gas leakage, the valve, um, the gas valve, which is connected to the cylinder, maybe uh, will be closed automatically, so that to stop the gas flow. And uh, for the water valve control, um, here, just um, the water valve is monitored by measuring the percentage of water inside the tank using uh, this uh, ultrasonic sensor over here suppose you are supplying water to the tank from the well so when the water inside the tank is above some percentage let's say about 50 percent uh, the valve should stop supplying the water to the tank and otherwise uh, the valve should stay on the other part of the system is um, the power consumption suppose you want to switch power on and off uh, where uh, the power is being consumed by the other part of the system. Here I've used a uh, current sensor to detect uh, the power usage on the other part of the system. So once the power is being consumed uh, in one part, uh, so uh, the system should be switched off on the other part so as to monitor the consumption of power. Uh, as you see here, we have uh, almost, I can say, maybe 6 to 7 major components. I've used a uh, ultrasonic sensor to detect the level of water inside the tank. I've used current sensor to detect the power usage. Uh, the LCD will be used to display uh, some actions that will be taken, like opening and closing of the, of the valves. Okay, we got also the gas sensor over here, uh, which will be used to detect the leakage. We got the controller itself, so Arduino board or Atmega, a 328 p microcontroller, and we have uh, three relays over here. This one uh, will be used for water valve, and uh, this one for the gas valve, and this relay uh, for the power system. Uh, the program for this system is quite something big uh, so I'm not going to be able to talk about all the lines as you see here we have got almost uh, five, uh, 569 uh, lines of code so I'm not going to explain the code line by line so you can download the simulation or the code and st uh, start learning by yourself if you have anything to ask about the code you can just comment and uh, i'll be there to to give some details about those uh, problems uh, okay let's see how the project works Okay, let's see how it works. As I've said, uh, for the water control at the court, uh, the condition was uh, if the water level inside the tank is about 50%, then the valve uh, should be off. And uh, if the water level is below 50%, we are going to turn on the water valve so that to supply water to the tank. And for the power consumption, uh, this current sensor uh, will be used to, to read the current uh, from this lot of hair. So if there is current flowing uh, to the sensor, 
uh, the controller will automatically uh, identify that there is some usage on the other part uh, so this uh, relay here will close automatically and for the gas leakage if we turn this button over here on uh, it will uh, make our sensor produce some outputs it's like a detection uh, to the leakage uh, so once that happens the relay uh, which is the gas valve uh, will turn off automatically so let's say uh, there is gas leakage over here uh, as you see here currently the gas valve status the valve was on okay the gas valve status now is off because there is a uh, gas leakage over here so if the leakage is removed uh, or if the leakage problem is solved uh, the gas valve uh, should be able to, to turn on again. Okay, now, now you see the gas valve status is on again uh, because there is not any gas leakage. Now let's see uh, when there is power consumption on the part on the other part of the system. So if I switch this switch off on here. Uh, so the current, the the current will be alternated by the current sensor to the controller. Uh, let's see what what uh, will happen to this uh, power switching relay. So now we have current uh, consumed uh, on the other part of the system, and uh, the other part of the system is switched off. Okay, now it, as you see here, it, it works just fine. Now if there is no usage. Uh, on the other part, uh, the power system or the power switching relay uh, should be closed again. Now it's fine, there is no power consumption over here, and the uh, power status is on, and the gas valve status is off because there is leakage over here. Now, for the water level control, um, as you see here, uh, the water level is about 64. Uh, percent which is greater than 50 percent so the valve is off if I try to reduce the label using this uh, potentiometer over here okay let's say about now you see uh, the world label is uh, about 32 percent which is below 50 percent uh, so the water valve uh, will be turned on um, to supply the water from the wall to the tank. So this is how the system worked. Uh, just feel free to download the simulation uh, uh, file uh, from, for, from the description. Just subscribe to my channel for more videos and feel free to ask any question. If you really really want to implement this system I will assist you in, uh, in case of any 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 problem. Thank you guys.